Michael Rooker! <laughs> That was, a, that was a great intro, dude. I'm trying. I'm I, trying. A little much, but it'll be, it'll be. A little much for you? Trying, man. Yeah. Oh, you keep too much speaking? trying, yeah. Okay. You gotta be subtle. Gotta Mike, be Mike say, Hoover. how to do, how you doing? What's your name? Craig. How you doing, guys? I'm Craig. <laughs> Very Craigless. <laughs> I own Craigless. <laughs> And uh, I'm here uh, with a good friend of mine, Michael Rooker. He's backstage here. He's, uh, he's he'll be done in a minute. <laughs> uh, uh, but um, anyway, I'm here. I'm here to answer any questions that he can't or may not feel to answer for you. Um, anyway, because you know he doesn't answer questions. <laughs> None at all, right? No, no, that's not why this is Q and A. Should not be called Q and A. So, Craig, how, how how are you? I'm doing great. How about good, you? good, good, good. And, and how'd you get this gig? You know, I emailed someone, and they just said yes. Yeah, see? <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, Craig used to work downtown here at some of the restaurants. He went to several of them. That's why they're closed. <laughs> Cannot, they cannot cast. Go out of an actor, sir. Oh, oh dear. They can't get enough people to to work in the restaurants to keep them open. Isn't the that wall. crazy? It is crazy. You know, we're walking through the wall, through this building here. It's a great building. It's massive, massive building. What do you use this for now? Did you see that there's like also like an entire another street of building? There's another you, street. You like go around the corner and it just keeps going. I know. Why? I have no idea why. <laughs> there was a sports team here before, right? There was. There was. Jiggly butt. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly butt. Jiggly, jiggly. jiggly. <laughs> she warned me about that. No, there's nothing to be warned about. That's just when, when people get all sad, I, 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 I just say jiggly butt. <laughs> when we start talking about sports teams that are like, yeah, jiggly butt, jiggly butt. Don't think about it. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly butt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A, a, a midnight Q&A at some point in time. That would be perfect. You think adults only? Yeah. Open bar? Maybe watch a bit of Slither first. <laughs> what do you think? Open bar, Q and A. Woo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe a screen in the back doing, you know, doing like little trailers of of my uh, my movies and stuff like that. Over a hundred credits, right? More. More. <laughs> I think it's one hundred and thirty-four. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I don't remember how many. I've lost, I've lost count. <laughs> Some of them are actually pretty good. They're great. Yeah, you know, a few of them at least. So I'm doing research. What's your favorite? What's that? You have a favorite? A favorite character? I don't have a favorite. I, you know, I, but I'm wondering if you have a favorite. I'll tell you. I, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer is That's your favorite? incredible. It's incredible the acting that you do because uh, I'm listening to you on Rosenbaum's podcast, yeah. Inside of You, which is a great show. I did that a long time ago. Yeah. You did, you did. But what I like about it is that you talk about how you get into a character. I did. And in that way, like, you take someone that could be and should be the antagonist, the villain, and you make it someone that Michael we care about. I, I don't remember the podcast. It's really funny. I, I talked to him just briefly yeah. outside, yeah. and he's like, if you plug the podcast, I'd really You should never talk to him. <laughs> Not worth your time. Well, I, I would say I am. A, I, I'm an. Other than that, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm 
Why would you want to talk to him? I'm an MCU fanboy and also a Disney fanboy, so what it took that? everything in my... That's took, a whole thing. A Disney me? fanboy? Oh, yeah. Everything Disney? It took everything in my power not to say the Mary Poppins line when you came out here, because you've heard that a million times, right? Which line? <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, I did that one. Then. Yeah, you did. It. <laughs> I did it really well. yeah. It's like a tear came to my eye at that moment in the movie theater. Did it really? Yeah. Tear? Are you kidding me? No, 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 you got the wrong. No, no, the, the, that's supposed to be laughter. No, I mean, it's, it's building up this tear. Tear comes later on at the end. <laughs> it may have been your. It's, it's this character arc that you do that we're seeing you. Yeah, now we understand. Where he's from. To our hero. You know, it's opposite. This is your opposite thing. What's that? The tear came when it's supposed to have been laughter, and, and did you like? Did you laugh? Did you laugh? Did you laugh? Did you like first out laughing when I said, You may have been your father for you, but you're your daddy. And you're like, You're laughing. Chuckling in the theater. Everybody else is weeping. And you're over there cracking up. Yeah, that shit happens, man. Some people are like, they don't get it. You know, they're very, very um, sensitive in other ways, and they start laughing. <laughs> That's so funny. Everybody in the theater looked at me real weird. Yeah. Much like they are now. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you're, you're still laughing as they're, everybody else is leaving, and they're weeping, and the kid, the dad's holding the little kid. Come on, on, let's go. And, and they, as they're passing you, they're... <laughs> Jiggly <Jake, Jake> butt. <laughs> so we're gonna add, we're gonna ask and, 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 and answer all your questions, honestly, honest and truthfully. So if you have something really deep down that you want to know about, I'm here. I'm here to help you. And uh, you know, so what do you think? Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, how's it make you feel? That's perfect. Yeah. I prepared for that. I prepared for you, your son. But how does, it, how does it make you feel? How does it make me feel? It makes yeah. me feel great. Are you okay? Are you kidding me? Are you okay? Are you okay? Right now. Are you, are I'm you okay. okay. I'm great. I'm not going to cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to cry. Men cry too. Yeah, absolutely. I, sometimes I cry when Mary Poppins is mentioned. It happens. Yeah, I know. It's like a, 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 a kind of a... In your mind, uh, you know, the, the sugar thing with the, you know, mom trying to force feed you medicine without sugar. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> They're always doing that to the kid. Take it! <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, your mom was a very sweet lady, was she? Not? She was. She oh, is a very sweet lady. She had, a, she had like. She, there we go! Open up! <laughs> that time attack! That time attack! Honey, <laughs> grab his jaw! Grab his orange jaw! Just get it in there! <laughs> that pink medicine? No, mine was oh. purple time attack. Oh! It tasted like the purple was great. The chicken bubble was right? Uh, purple was great. Purple was great? Yes. What, you didn't like the pink one, the bubblegum one? No, I just. For some reason, she like mainlines yeah, yeah. diamond tattoo. Yeah. Moxicillin. Moxicillin, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah. A moxicillin. It's like a, uh, so when you have a cold or some sort of um, bacterial thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> My son's allergic to that. We found out it was a real well, bad we, weekend. We what happened to him when he, when he takes it? Oh, it was bad. It was a bad, a lot of diapers that weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Poopy, poopy butt? Poopy butt. Jiggly, jiggly poopy butt. Look. It happens, you know what I mean? Amoxicillin! Woo! So, Merle, so what do you take when you don't feel good? What do I take? Jack Daniels? <laughs> I'm a beer guy. You're beer guy? Nah, I can't drink beer. It's too much. Um, I don't like all the uh, all the bubbly stuff. You know? All the carbonation, yeah. Yeah. Jägermeister. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody has their own thing. Jägermeister stuff. I, I don't know. I never understood that. It smells like medicine to me. It does. I have all those memories of. Ah! 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 I had a bad. I had a bad um, 
So, actually, my brother, who I think is out there. I really don't care. Where's your uh, brother? There he is. <laughs> You're his brother? I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, oh, damn, man. That kind of sucks. So much old schlager. Craig. Sitting, and it Craig. Just What's his middle name? What's your middle name? Craig. What's his middle name? Craig. Craig Donald? What's your middle name? You don't even have middle name? My middle name's Craig. Your middle name's Craig? Yeah. Well, oh, you use your middle name as your first name. Yes. I see. I do. That's confusing me, Mo. <laughs> what's, your, what's your first name then? Donald. <laughs>
you know, and they, and they would do it with a computer. All of a sudden, you could watch him do it, and all of a sudden, they're doing it, and he comes back, and he goes, how's that? And it's a little deeper and a little interesting, but no blood. I didn't want any blood. That was the whole point. I, I wanted to just, like, do the death scene, walk away, and, and get in the car and, and go back to the hotel. Instead of cleaning up all this blood and all this goop and gore and brain matter and all that stuff. So that's, that was the whole idea. Awesome. That's yeah, my head was great. And he, he fell for that shit. <laughs> great. You're going to do it the way I want to do it? Good. I mean, so I didn't want any blood. I wanted, I wanted a nice death scene. And I wanted, like, sometimes when you get hit in the head with a bat, you know, do you ever get hit in the head with a bat or anything, or a pole, like a, a metal pole or anything like that? I actually split my head open by uh, hitting a slab of concrete. Or yeah, something yeah, like something that. like that. You know, something kind of fun, but smaller <laughs> objects, <laughs> smaller <laughs> objects, dent in more, and they create a lot of, you know, not a good memory afterwards. <laughs> so you're like, where am I? What am I doing here? Oh, you're in the hospital, sir. You know, you've been here for two weeks. I am? Oh, dear me. <laughs> What's my name? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. That kind of stuff intrigues, that intrigues me. Okay. I'm like, wow. So the brain got injured to such a degree, you survived, but now, you know, you're a little bit, a little bit messed up a little bit, yeah? Well, I say that, but it was just like three staples. So that's about it. So I mean, it's okay. That's a good question. I actually answered that. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Next. Hi. Uh, I just want to tell you, I'm a horror film fiend, and I love Slither. It's one of my favorite uh, horror films of all time. Uh, in the most intense parts of that, how long were you actually in makeup to, like, to do some of those? Oh, yeah, the incredible no, 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 visuals. makeup was the, the big house monster was a seven and a half hour makeup. Okay. Yeah, and, and we spent half the day because it wasn't what Gunn wanted, and they had to sort of change it at, on the day. And so once you're in that makeup, you can't leave. Yeah. You know, so very, very uncomfortable makeup. Um, and then even the even the smaller monster when I'm going through the field, that monster took that like took like six uh, six hours or something like that. So my call times were like three a.m. Then every eight o'clock people were coming in sleepy, and I've been up already since three a.m. And it was funny because I have um, I had a person that held my ears up so that I could sleep a little bit during the makeup, the earlier parts of the makeup before they put the big portions on my head, so I, they, I was, they were able to hold me up and I could still sleep a little bit before they did all the rest. Thank you, thank you. That was, that was a, great, a great makeup. If y'all don't know it yet, it's, uh, they did this massive half, I mean my whole, my whole jaw was a, with teeth. It was like really a bizarre makeup. It was great. It was all practical. So that's why it took yeah, so not a lot of CGI in that. There was a little bit of CGI when I opened my mouth really wide so that you could see down the throat, that kind of thing. But everything else was all practical makeup by uh, Todd Masters, which, you know, he's the master of that stuff, so good stuff. I just finished doing a movie, uh, cor uh, Corrective Measures, that's playing on Tubi right now, if you guys are interested. It's kind of a fun little piece. And Todd Masters ended up being a producer, and uh, he did all the makeups. So uh, it was the second time I got a uh, chance to work with him. Great, great guy. Uh, uh, who's, uh, how, go ahead, buddy. What's your question? Well, um, I wanted to know, uh, with one of my favorite movies is uh, Cliffhanger. So, in preparation with Sylvester Stallone, of all things Rocky, right? How much preparation did you put into that character? How much training did you do with the character and work in development on it? I did a lot, actually. I, I, I trained like two or three months before the movie, uh, climbing and stuff, you know, um, and then the movie get, uh, kept being pushed back. That happens. 
And so I, I got another month of training, then another month of training. It took a while. So, uh, and all this time, I'm not really getting paid, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to climb, and it was kind of fun. And then I got over there, and I, I'm like feeling like, shit. I'm the shit, man. I can climb rocks. I climb these mountains. I get over there, and, and we go to this training area where it's a, a big, uh, a big face, maybe about, I don't know, 50 feet up or 60 feet up. And they put in the belay and all that stuff, and we start climbing. And these. 11 year olds come by, they set up their shit, and they're like climbing past us like it's nothing. <laughs> and I'm over there going, gee, uh, you know, climbing up, climbing, feeling good. I feel strong. But then there's this little guy just going, nee, 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 nee. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Uh, I'll see you, I'll meet you guys in the pub. <laughs> Thank you. Good question. Uh, yeah, so we got I got a lot of training involved in that piece, but it, it really didn't do it much good. <laughs> What's up, girl? What what are you like what is that tie thing? What you got there? Oh you like a little cow. Oh I see. So I it's kind of a dumb question, but ever on the No question is dumb. Go ahead. Whenever you were on set for Guardians of the Galaxy, did you ever really slap your It's okay. Dumb question. question. <laughs> 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 you said that really well. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Thank you very much. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Chris Pratt. <laughs> it's like this big. <laughs> And we were playing, we were playing like kid shit, you know, stuff like that. We were playing stuff, and his leg is like this big around, and he he'd be able to kick me and knock me into oblivion. No, 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 I, I would never. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Yeah, it's okay. There you go. You got another question? No, not really. Good, thank you. <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> Go ahead, what's your question? Oh, Go ahead. Hi. Okay, hey, that's not nervous you wanna, at all. You want to touch it? <laughs> so many things. Hey, what's your question? Can I? Can I? It's all about the girls, but it's still Can good. I touch it? Go ahead. Go ahead. You can touch it. Good. Good. Go ahead. I see that my husband left for the day, by the way. Don't never, never touch my okay, okay, okay. So, I thought you know, I'm so nervous. Walking dead. Let's Why are you so nervous? Walking. It's right in front of me. Well, wait a minute. You're taller than me. Well, I'm on a step. So. <laughs> Walking dead for step work. Was there ever at any point that you had a hard no to the director saying, I don't no, never. Never? never. Have you ever? Never. never. They told me hard no's, and I did it anyway. <laughs> like, you know, when I rolled out of the car as it was moving, remember that last sequence where I'm battling the uh, the governor's people? Okay. And I'm dri and we're driving, I'm driving, and I actually opened the car door and I roll out? You didn't see that part? You got to hope. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so we remembered that yesterday you were saying, but you didn't get coffee. Yeah. And so we brought you a caramel macchiato. Oh, good your God. <laughs> That's a real coffee? Yeah, that's and why we weren't here what's before it? this. It's just a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. That's it? Because I saw it on your Facebook. Yeah. mentioned that. Oh, you're so sweet. And you didn't get a coffee after that. Thank you. You're <laughs> sweet. Oh, is she not a doll? Thank you very much. And are you a kitty? That's, look, look, I'll show you. Sometimes, you know, I, 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 I promise I would never show this to a lot of people. But it's on camera too. Sometimes when I have drinks, I drink them like I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd make a good kitty? You think I'd make a good kitty? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I know my tongue has like little cups in it, I can see. <laughs>
So, well, before I begin, you made this panel the best thing ever. <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, are there any roles or characters that you would consider like a magnum opus that you always wanted to do where you got excited just the thought of just getting a shot at? No. No? <laughs> I, I just would rather not do anything and get paid. <laughs> I, I, I have to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, that sucks. Suck. That kind of sucks, right? Try being blue collar. I mean, you yeah, know, well, it's okay. I was like, you know, it's like COVID, like two years. Of, sure. Sometimes people got off work and they still got paid. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't either. I didn't either. Yeah. I, I still worked. A little bit. Um, a little bit harder for you. <laughs> oh God, two quarters. Well, go ahead. I'm ready. I can do this. First one's easy. Would go you ahead. like a chocolate covered pretzel? No. Perfect. Uh, second, so you got to work with um, really good screenwriters like Kevin and James, just for instance. Hey, <laughs> by my standard. Yeah, I like Kevin. <laughs> All right, this is my favorite, man. Come on. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, has there been anyone like? A script or anyone that you worked with that you're like, wow, I really want to continue to always work with you, or it's just stood out to you like a character that you loved, or just want to continue to be a part of that screenwriter, that uh, just a world. No. <laughs> hey, little dude. How about you? Is it? I mean, do you have, do you have like a mommy and daddy? Uh, are they here? Yeah, they're there. Hi, Mom and Dad. Have you ever thought of that, what it'd be like to have different moms and dads? <laughs> have you ever thought that? I mean, just what we're just... Parallel universes. Yeah, a parallel universes, shit like that. Yeah, have you ever thought that? Well, anyways, my question was... <laughs> oh, you don't want to answer my question? You don't want to answer my question? They're waiting for your answer right now. <laughs> Go ahead, what's your question? What's your question? Um, so what was your favorite scene to shoot in Guardians of Galaxy 1 or 2? I, I don't remember. I, I was in those? <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like? You got one? You got your favorite scene? I think it's uh, the Mary Poppins part. The Mary Poppins one? Yeah, that was my favorite. What is your favorite scene? Do you have a favorite scene that, uh, that, that I did in Guardians 1 or 2? What do you think? I definitely say definitely the Mary Poppins one as well. Oh, do you like that one as, as well? <laughs> yeah. You know, the, you know the one when I'm flying down and I, yeah. and I say I'm a Mary Poppins show? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh, cool. Is that your mom and dad too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking out, okay. You're not. You're doing good. What's your question? So, when you ever you read the script of what, how did you feel about your role in the ending? How did you feel about that? I, I felt okay about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they said they'd pay me a little extra. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 cool. I, I did. I, I thought I was okay. I mean, a little extra money. I, they pay me extra when I die. Oh. You didn't know that? <laughs> Guys, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. Go ahead. Oh, what's that? No, is that your doggy? Yes. No, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. Um, Lost dog. Yeah. No, why? Oh, uh, okay. No, I don't care. Do you have a, a question? This one's coming. That other girl was unscrewing it. <laughs> yeah, she was like, when she grabbed a hold of it, she was trying to screw it in a different way. It's not supposed to be screwed. Hi, hon. Hey, I was just wondering if when you in Guardians of the Galaxy, was that actually you doing the whistle, or did they have that in? It was? Yeah. Can you do it for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I can do the 
whistle. But I, you know, honestly, to answer that question a little bit more, more add on to it is that I had these fake teeth in, so I had to relearn how to whistle. It took about six weeks or so uh, before the movie started. Not, not, not that long, maybe, maybe three or four weeks to like adjust the teeth and try to whistle again if it wouldn't work. It's just, it was just very difficult. And so the, uh, Scotty Stoddard is one of the makeup artists. He helped a lot with that. And um, we finally got the teeth prepared and, 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 and filed down enough so that I could actually whistle. Yeah. So yeah, I did all the whistle. And they made it, they, they enhanced it to make it sound more alien-like. But yeah, no, it was kind of cool, kind of cool. Hey, you. Hi, how are you? I, I, I saw you earlier at the table. Yes. yes. Finally, somebody came to my, thank you so much. <laughs> so tell me, um, uh, what's your question? I was wondering if there's anything that helps you like get into character, or whether it's like something you say to yourself, or just a habit that you do to just help get in character. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an actor? Um, aspiring, yes. Uh huh. And what do you, what do you, uh, what do you, what would you say to yourself if you could say something to yourself that could make you into the greatest actor alive? What would you say? What would you say to yourself? I mean, I'd probably just like. Mom! Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, sir. What's your question, sir? All right. Uh, so, are there any other celebrities at this continent that you are that you would be looking forward to meeting or talking? No. Answer me. What's your question? Uh, so, between Merle's bayonet hand and Yandy's uh -huh. arrow, yeah. which was your favorite one? <laughs> Come on, what a what a work of art. I mean, that was fun. We did a lot of work on that. The, the, the night hand was very practical, you know, but it was kind of uncomfortable. But, but the arrow was sort of like, oh, we did, uh, sometimes it was physical, sometimes we did CGI. We did a lot of things to make that look real. And it's kind of fun stuff, like for an actor. And, you know, we, we deal with stuff that, I don't, I don't want to, you know, we deal with things that are not always there, you know? You know, okay, for there's a raccoon at your feet. Okay, yeah, okay, what's it doing? You know, and there's a little wooden creature on your shoulder. Okay, okay, so you gotta deal with that. You know, what would it feel like to have a little baby group on your shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So we deal with stuff like that a lot. And, um, and so that's all. I forgot, I don't even know if I answered a question to you. <laughs> Was it a good question? I did. Shh, I'm sorry. <laughs> then, what's your question? Uh, were there any specific improv off script moments in The Walking Dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course there were. <laughs> and they yelled at me constantly. <laughs> I had them like rolling out of a car. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. I was just wondering, what are you most excited to work on next? Or is it just anything, that pays anything, the bill? anything that pays. <laughs> so, sir, did you enjoy her question? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have one? Would you like one? If you got one to give, I'll take it. Okay. What size shoes do you wear, Mr. Rooker? Thirteen. No, no, you gotta ask me. <laughs> what size shoe what do you wear, Mr. Rooker? Thirteen. <laughs> Let's see, who else got a question? Hey, baby, you got a question? Go ahead. Your list is going to be in the movie for uh, Guardian 3. How is that? What? You're listed as being in the movie. That's Guardian not 3. true. <laughs> who lied to you? That, that's a lie, big fat lie. IMDb. IMDb? You believe that? <laughs> Girl, hello, sexy. Got a question for me? Stand up, tell me who you are. This is Amber, yeah. Amber, where are you from, Amber? Uh, originally, or where do I live? <laughs> originally, where are you from, Amber? Netherlands. 
The Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And where do you live now? Belleville. Oh, that, that's in New York, right? Belleville. Oh, Belleville? Is that the mental institution? In, in, uh, is that New York or in, 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 is it Illinois? Illinois. Illinois. Well, there's no one in Belleville. There's Bellevue in New York, right? I think, yeah. Bellevue's in New York, yeah. Well, you, so you, uh, did they let you out just for the weekend?
that's cool. How about you, sir? Did you make yours up too? Yeah. Uh huh. Stand up. Let me see your butler. The bunny butler. That's cool. You're bunny butler, and you're the cowgirl, right? So you're nothing, right? Who are you? No, you got something going on. Where are we from, huh? Demon Slayer. Tundra from Demon Slayer, y'all. Well, there, there you have it, man. This is fun stuff. Y'all enjoy? Y'all enjoying the show? I thought the show went very well. You know, uh, I mean, if you have any money left, you just come on over to my table after this. Are you able to do any stunts on Days of Thunder? Uh, driving those cars, trust me, that stunt in itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days of Thunder is a great little movie that I did a while back with Tom Cruise. I don't know if y'all, um, uh, if everybody's seen it or nobody's seen it. Do it, do it, do a part two. Do a part two. A blast doing it. You got a question, sir, real quick? Do a part two. Part two of Days of Thunder? Yeah. Where? Anywhere. Hawaii, maybe, huh? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I do a Days of Thunder. I like to put it, uh, uh, make it a road race. We could race around uh, Hawaii or something like that. Race through the mountains there and the uh, Kauai and whatever. Aloha, by the way. Aloha. Uh -huh. Yeah, right on. This is an old Hawaiian shirt, by the way. So the ones where they used to make, uh, they only buttoned down halfway. And uh, the rest is sort of, it's a pullover. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like pullovers because I, when I have a Hawaiian shirt, I hardly unbutton it all the way anyway. I, I unbutton it all the way and I just pull it over anyway. Nice. And so this is, they're made to be a little loose and easy to put on and take off. You know. Awesome. Yeah. Hawaiians. Hawaiians. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Please hello and goodbye to Same word. Isn't that funny? <laughs> what are you laughing about? You are killing me. That's not true. You got a question? Real fast. I'm going to go Who now. Who is your favorite actor that you have worked with thus far? Oh, that's a good question. And I'm going to actually answer that. A lady by the name of Elizabeth Ashley. Y'all know Elizabeth Ashley? Of course you do not. But Elizabeth Ashby is one of my favorite actors, actresses. And she was so cool. We did a movie called Mar Rats together. And all of her work was edited out because they wanted to just get to the kids in the mall, right? But she played the mayor of the town. And my character was trying to schmooze her to, um, to get to get her to agree with having this game show in her city. And that was the whole setup for having uh, the, the game in the first place. And, but uh, it was a long, 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 long scene. And there was no cuts. The camera followed us around this whole time for, for like, what seemed like forever. And there were like stunts involved, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And it was one long take, you know. Kevin, he wanted, it was going to be great. But it was so long, and there was nowhere to cut into the thing that the studio just said, cut it out. So all of her work got cut out. But if there's extra scenes and they show it in, in some of the uh, DVDs or whatever, check it out. Elizabeth Ashley, my favorite actor. Thank you. Good question. Thank you, everybody, for coming. You guys are on the stereo. This has just been amazing. Thank you. My friend, Michael Rooker. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for coming, and I hope you have more fun on the day. Go enjoy it. Go to our artist alley. We got some of the best artists in the world out there, and, and uh, and, and spend some more money. That's what it's all about. Go, don't just look around and poke around. Go buy some art, and, and then um, bring it over to me and I'll sign it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Thank you guys, thanks for coming.